This skate came out in 2017. It's the most affordable. Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. Today I'm gonna show you the Play Life Bronx Tri Skate. This is probably the most affordable tri skate that you'll be able to find. Is it good? That's what we're gonna talk today. Some of you subscribing to this channel or some of you watching these videos that I constantly do know about other skates from Power Slide. So this skate came out in 2017, but the years before there were other models that you might know. I'm gonna start by showing you the base of this skate, which is the shell boot. You should know that Play Life, it's owned by Power Slide. Basically, it's the most affordable brand where it's a brand inside the group, if you can call it Power Slide. Power Slide doesn't invest that much into product development for this brand right here, Play Life. So this skate first came out as a four wheel skate. And when it was a four wheel skate, it was just the Bronx four times 80. Let me confirm. Yes, four times 80 with 84A wheels. This, super solid. Yes, it's not as good as the Power Slide Imperial, but it has a 45 degree strap. It's a Velcro strap. It has a plastic buckle. It's a solid boot. You cannot change the cuffs, but usually who changes cuffs on free skates? And then aluminum frame for four 80 millimeter wheels. The bearings, I have no idea what bearings they come with. I don't know on this one, I really don't know. Should be something like the ABEC trees or something like that. It's just a generic ABEC tree or ABEC 5 bearing. The wheels are obviously not as fast as the Infinity wheels from Power Slide or of course not as fast as the, the Matter wheels or the Undercover wheels. It's a, it's a made in China wheel, a part in China. Should be good enough, it's a stock wheel. We know that the stock wheels are not as good as the aftermarket wheels. Something that you should know about this skate is that the frame is riveted. Same with the tri-skate. One of the biggest differences from the tri-skate, the newer version, to the older version is the slider on the side. The newer version has a slider on the side as a normal free skate, any other FSK skate on the market right now, I think. They have these slider on the side. I think that's the biggest difference from these to these. Also, other than the frame, obviously, this also has like a solid frame. It's not a folded aluminum frame. It's a solid frame, also riveted and for three times 90 millimeter wheels. So the Bronx tri skate, it's a three 90 millimeter wheels, which means the wheel base is short and will be easy, super easy to turn, stop, all that. It's like a really, really good tri skate for beginners. Or if you want to get a pair of tri skates, but if you don't know if it's really the thing that you're keen on getting, this could be a good skate for you to try. I mean, this is less than $100, it's about 89 in between 79 and eight and 100 dollars so this could be like a really good skate for you to start then something that you might not know is this skate is the same as this and this is the us this way this skate is used by some of the best aggressive skating pros there's this guy called montre livingston montre livingston as a pro model based on the sway the shell boot it's the same as this if you were wondering about the quality of the skate, the stiffness, if it's strong enough, I think this just says it all. Like, affordable, like I just told you. And if it wasn't strong enough, you wouldn't see Montreal Livingston, one of the best aggressive skaters in the world, skating with it. Any doubts about it now? This might be your next dry skate. It's affordable, strong, the wheels are not too big, which means that you won't be too high from the ground. Pretty good. Just wanted to show you this product that I have laying around in the shop. I hope you enjoyed this video and if there's more products that I have around that you want to see, just let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching this. Cheers! Vou viver até quando...